And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the New York Yankees. And then, go. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, ready to go here. Here's Josh Rojas. Right hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. What to now? Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. That one missed. Two and one. One down, base is empty. Off the mark there. And now three and one. And he takes a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And here it comes. Good plate nope. appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Now moved to first. And he's back safely. Two two now. Missed inside with the curve. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. This one in the air right field, and it falls. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Swing. Now we'll look down to first. And no swing. It's ball four. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now, Cal Raleigh swings through that one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. And another ball. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that dugout and hit the reset. Base hit. One run is in. Now a second crosses the plate. And they lead by two. Well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. The timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now it's going to be Ty France. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. That one the other way. Soto makes the catch for the out. Two down. So first and second with two outs. Luke Rayleigh digs in now. The 1-1. One -one. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one.
Off the mark there, and it's okay. two and two. Garver, the lead runner out at second. Raleigh at first, two out of the inning. Ground ball up the middle. Volpe. They take the force out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Back here in New York, Labor Torres up to the plate. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. Hey. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out of fun. So off speed pitches right may be a good compliment to that fastball. And now Go it's on. Juan Soto. Lover to right field. Way back. Big number 99, Aaron Judge. And now two and two. In the air out to center. Rodriguez settles under it. Corrals it. Two down. Anthony Rizzo that steps to the plate. It's a good recovery, recovery though after giving up the whole run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Two down, nobody on. In the air, right field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. New inning getting started. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. And the right hater deals. And that's outside. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. And a pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Here's Dylan Moore. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And they'll do it again. It's a one-two. Up the middle. Finds its way through base hit. So now back to the top of the order. He was over that one. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down. Digging in, Josh Rojas. On the ground right side. Four, six, three, double play. And the inning is over. Here's some real power to play. Giancarlo Stanton. Swings through that one for strike two. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Righty delivers. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 2-2. Two -two. Hey. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Here's Alex Verdugo. Wouldn't chase that time. 
Ripped to short. On to France. And Verdugo is set down. Anthony Volpe now to play. The shortstop takes the ball. On the ground, out to short. Oh, he gloves it from his knees. The throw. Nicely done for the out. Set for the start of the inning and stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. Swing and he breaks his back. And he's safe at first as no one could get to the bag in time. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Tied him up really well with that pitch inside. Couldn't get it out of the infield, but somehow turns it into a nog. That's a thing of beauty, and some much just don't make sense. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The 1-1. And that one hit to first. And it gets by him. Rodriguez around second, headed for third. And it'll be first and third now after that miscue. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now, Cal Raleigh. Oh. And there's a ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, yeah, boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. So up next, Ty France. Here's a 1-1. Ground ball left side could be two. There's one. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. Back now in the Bronx. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. And that's in there at the knees. Next pitch is outside. Left hand hitter waits. Line drive and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no the problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job. That's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. And a count one and two. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one misses. Three and two. Ball this count runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Bo. Outside, oh, and that is ball four. Base knock, and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple three, three. quality of bats. Back to the top of the lineup, Blake oh. Torres. Stepping in now for the Yankees. And he deals. That's in there. This is an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. Not close with that one. Yeah, that's ball two. 
and a pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And Glaber Torres retired. And that is a big first out. Two on, one out. Juan Soto down. Torres a batter right here who really produces in these night games. And we saw the latest example of it in his first A.B. Next offering is downstairs. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And that one fouled off. speeds he goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next Ray way ball. inside he's been trying to tease the zone with that slider but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone foul ball and it remains a full count scores from third and they take a two run lead well patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count smash that one through the infield for the knock when it's hit that hard it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play John Carlos Stanton to the plate now on the ground to third to oh. second Polanco and that'll do it Welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth. And now for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. In the air, out towards left center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one down. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. One out, base is empty. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two straight. Two and now it's even up. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Out on the drop, third strike, two gone. Two outs, base is empty. There's the shortstop at the play. Dylan Moore. The Mariners down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. And misses inside. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there.
Man on second, two down. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. And a curve is down and in. Two balls, two strikes. And now the count filled up three and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand batter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And it's second. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, ready to go at bottom four. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. The wind of the pitch. That misses two and one. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. That one fouled off. Bases empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one in the air, center field. Rodriguez settles under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's two away. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. The wide to kick the pitch. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Hard hit, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Luke Weaver. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this now bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario Double might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that started left for him. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball. And another ball. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Jorge Polanco, the next to hit. The Yanks leading by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ground ball Rizzo picks it up and he takes You're it out. himself for the out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Garver. Two outs. That misses the zone. Two and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Great one. Two down, nobody on, and a foul ball. At the belt, the fires. And there's ball back. four. 
They just keep handing out gifts, bro. Are we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. So two down. Here's a big power threat. Cal Raleigh. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Kicks and deals. That's down and in. Great RBI Great spot pitch. here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Hard hit left side. Fires across the diamond. That's the third out. Yankee Stadium, bottom of the inning. Labor Torres up to hit. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider, down it away. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now bad. Right field. Here's one Soto. Soto reached 500 walks faster than anyone in baseball history. This guy is a once in a generation type player. Right through there for a strike. And down on strikes. Two out. Two outs, base is empty. Aaron Judge at the plate. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. <laughs> Top six. And now the first baseman, Ty France. The 1-1. One -one. Hammer. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And here is Luke Rayleigh. Offering misses down and away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And here it comes. And that one fouled off with the tying run at the plate. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now the shortstop, Dylan Moore. Going to count one and two. We can live up in the zone game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Just misses. Now two and two. Two outs. Out number three. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Kirby Snead. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed yeah, hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. The pitch. Swings through that. This guy's got One such ball. a good He's sinker. Right. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the pitch stays alive. And now the lefty 
Ripped on the ground a second. Polanco tosses the first. Rizzo out of the play. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Giancarlo Stanton. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now got left fielder. Two outs, bases empty. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. That one misses, and the count is even two and two. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Left hand hitter waits. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that is Making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. And into second easily with a two out double. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Runner at second, two down, here in the bottom of the sixth. The pitch. And the slider just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Victor Gonzalez. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Josh Rojas. The ends in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball two. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Yankees up by three. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Right side, hard hit. Torres over to first. Rodriguez out of the play. So digging in, Jorge Polanco. And a pitch. Check swing, and he held up. Two outs, bases empty. the 2-2 and a foul ball he stays alive two outs fights it off you'll see another
still two and two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Bounce to the left side. Cabrera. Zips it to first. And it's a one, two, three inning. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Trent Thornton. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right-handed reliever and another ball. Right hander kicks deals. That one missed. Three balls. He strikes. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Second walk of the game for Three him. Ball. And he's been really patient at the play. The game easy. plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking oh. for. Runner right takes off. Next offering is foul back. Got it by him for the K. The right Juan Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Cabrera, round second on his way to third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scored position and just one out. Here is Aaron Judge calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. So here's the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. And another ball. In situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Well struck, right field. Base hit, one run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and the lead is up to five. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Nice line drive. Now on the bump, Cody Bolton. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. It just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. So one out with two aboard, and now it's John Carlos Stanton. Not even close there. And a count two and one. Judge on third. Rizzo at first. One gone. Fouls one off, two and two. And he deals. Ground ball could be two. Rojas toss the second, and that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Nick Birdie. And you know, both of guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. And now the catcher comes up to him. Cal Raleigh. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. 
Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. At the belt and fires. That one fouled off two and two. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So two down now, and here is Ty France. Ty France. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Back for more from the Bronx. On to the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. Ground ball right side. And that squirts through. And the leadoff man aboard. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And the righty deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Payoff pitch. Hard ground ball. Base down. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Kicks and deals. You know, these Yankees, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. And a 2-1 on the way. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw the third, and he's out. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Man at second. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Here comes a pitch. Inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Now, now, now. So first and second with one man gone. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. The 1-1. One -one. Foul ball there. One out. Runners at first and second. This one lifted in the air, left field. And there's two away. And then back to the top of the Yankee order. Here comes Glaber Torres. One one now. Foul ball. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two on, two outs. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Drifts towards it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. That is the inning. We're back, it's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, number 50. Here's the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. The left fielder. And another ball. That one ripped, but foul.
Righty to the plate. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And that's outside. And it's three and two. Good Thank plate you, appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, ball. two balls and no the strikes, one, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And he chases a high fastball there. But the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Oh, that's the way. Just missing there. Two balls, two strikes. Struck him out looking. Dylan Moore up next for the Mariners. Man at first, one away. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. Just off the inside edge. The pitch. That one ripped. That's back there. And out of here. A gigantic blast. And they close the gap. It's 7-4. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. Bullpen, Clay Holmes. And we all know about his slider. It's just Play. filthy, man. One of the better runs in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. That one almost got him. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. On the ground. Volpe throws to first in time. Down to the last out for the Mariners. Now the number two hitter, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. A total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You got to give him a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. This one finishes with a final of seven to four for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.